Hello all. In today's video, we'll study about the merits and demerits of median. Coming to merits of median, firstly, it is rigidly defined by an algebraic formula. We have already seen that the median is calculated by the use of a formula. Okay, let it be any type of series or any type of case, a median will be calculated using a formula. So anywhere on the earth that you go, you will be using the same formula. That's why you will be getting the same answers. Hence, it is said that it is rigidly defined by an algebraic formula. Okay, next, it is easy to understand and calculate, can be located by inspection. We have already studied that median is centrally located. Okay, so that means that 50% or 50% uh, of the values will be below it and 50% of the values will be above it. It will divide it into, it will divide the distribution into two equal parts. That's why we can locate it by inspection also. Next is, it is not at all affected by extreme values. This is a very important property. Let us study about it. In case of arithmetic mean, we had seen that when we had taken a series without any outlier like this, we had found that the mean is 3. But when we took an extreme value such as 10, we found that the mean had shifted to 4. So an outlier had affected the value of mean. But now let us consider median. So in the median, let us calculate the median for the first five number of items. So items are odd. We will calculate median by using the size of n plus one item. That is five plus one divided by two. That is the third item. So the value of the third item is three. So the value of median is three. Now let us consider an outlier, which is 10. So the value of median will be again size of n plus one item or n plus one upon two tooth item. That is five plus one upon two. That is the third item. So the third item is again three. So you can see that the value of median re remains the same in spite of the outlier. Hence, it is said that median is not at all affected by extreme values. This is a very important principle and in data science, we'll be using median wherever there are outliers. We will, will not be using mean. Please remember this median will be used whenever there are any outliers. Okay. Coming to the next point that is it can be calculated for distributions with open end classes. Okay. Uh, let us go back to the uh, when we were calculating median for continuous series in the previous video. We had seen that when the uh, median is calculated, we first calculate the value of n which is summation of all the frequencies. Then we calculate half of n that is 44. And from that value, we had calculated the next immediate cumulative frequency and from the cumulative frequency we had found the median class and based on this median class we had calculated the median. So the open-ended classes were nowhere in picture. They didn't affect the calculation of this median in any way. So median is not affected in, in spite of having a open-end classes. Okay, this is a very important principle of median. It is not affected or it can be calculated for distribution with open-end classes also. So those were the merits of median. Now let us come to the demerits of median. Okay, the first demerit of median is when the number of observations is even, the median cannot be precisely calculated. All we do is take the mean of the two middle terms to estimate it. Uh, this I had uh, shown as a remarks also when we were discussing about median in the previous video. We had seen that when the number of observations are even, then uh, as a norm we take that we take the mean of that median sorry mean of those two observations okay uh, we don't uh, consider the remaining items that might lie between those two items okay so uh, this is one of the demerits of median okay in case of number of observations they are even the median cannot be precisely calculated why because we are taking the mean of the two middle terms next is it is not based on all the observations hence median is thought to be or it is called as insensitive okay let us see this with an example now, in the previous example, we had taken the five items and we had calculated the uh, calculated the medi median as three. Okay. Now, what we will do is uh, we will keep the items in the ascending order only. However, we'll change the values of the first two items and the last two items. So now, if you see, I've maintained the same ascending order, but I've changed the values of the first two and the last two items. Now, if you calculate the me uh, median, median is the size of the n plus one upon tooth item. So it will be the size of the third item and that is three. So by changing the first two and the last two values, the median is not affected. Hence, median is said to be insensitive. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट इज इट इज नॉट एमिनेबल टू एल्जेब्राइक ट्रीटमेंट इफ यू रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट्स इन द लेक्चर फॉर मीन वी हैव सीन दैट मीन कैन बी यूज फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑल्सो इट कैन बी यूज टू कैलकुलेट वेरियंस ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज इट टू कैलकुलेट इट वेटेड मीन ऑल्सो बट मीडियन कैन नॉट बी यूज फॉर एनी सच फर्दर ट्रीटमेंट ओके दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट Uh, it is said that it is not amenable to algebraic treatment nowhere you will find median being used in any other like for standard deviation or weighted median anything like that okay it is uh, only mean was used for all those purposes that's why median is said that it is not amenable to algebraic treatment and next is it is significantly impacted by sample fluctuations as compared to mean uh, again i'll try to take your back to the lecture on mean when we had seen that even after interchanging these values of values or moving them up or down the value or value of the mean did not get affected because the summation of fi xi remained the same and so the value of mean remained the same in spite of changing these values up or down so the mean was not affected by fluctuations of sampling but you know that in case of uh, median first we have to arrange it in the ascending or the descending order and if we change this order or or make some mistake in arranging them then the value of the median will change that's why it's very important that you arrange them in ascending or the descending order okay any small mistake will change the value of the median that is the meaning of the last point that is it is significantly impacted by sample fluctuations as compared to mean so that's all for today in the next lecture we'll study about mode thank you